Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Sunny here, and I'm just gonna do a real short, straight to the point video on uh, the new crystals and the new BIS setups. Um, also, crystals in general are dropping a lot of price with the gear ins and all, so it should be more available for more people now, and there is a few updates to the new BIS builds um, with these new crystals from DK Level 2, which are pretty available on the marketplace. So let's take a look at it here. The new general BIS all around PVE setup is this one right here. Um, the gist of it is basically you're trading off your red fangs for the new precision crystals. They give you one more AP. Um, and then you will use any of the resist crystals instead of your power crystal. It doesn't give you more damage, but it does give you the three DR and 10% resist, which you shouldn't be needing, but it's still technically better. Three DR beats in none, uh, but it's not a big deal. Um, so this is pretty much it and then depending on where you're grinding if you want back attack of course use darkness if you are grinding places where you don't get back attacks uh, for example pillar spots a lot of times you could use corrupted instead um, there's still a, a note about accuracy make sure you have enough accuracy uh, even if you don't see the miss indicators it doesn't mean that you're not missing um, the miss indicators don't show up if you get crits or back attacks or whatever even if there is a miss Use gamut.com to check that you have enough accuracy. If you don't have enough, you want to put a Viper in here, but it shouldn't be necessary as long as you have your add-ons and all sorted. Next up is the in-game uh, resist builds, which are very needed right now because of the new uh, DK spots, DK level 2. It's also great at Crescent, etc, etc. So there's a lot of resistance needed here. The general resist build is this now. There's a, um, a bit of a change. So in general, you still want to run like your double elementites and then uh, fortitude, uh, stalwart fortitude to cap out your knockdown resist. Of course, if you are doing um, thornwood, you would want to use uh, knockback resist, I believe it is. So you want to use double knockback here and then you want to use the new knockback resistance crystal here instead of um, the knockdown. But... Um, that's the, uh, one of the changes, right? It's using this instead of an intimidation or whatever it was. And then also it's actually better using two of these uh, precise destruction over the last two Maccas. So it gives you one more AP. It's not a lot, but it's something and we take it. Uh, and I think it's three more accuracy if my counting was correct. Um, so it is technically slightly better running uh, two of these precisions over the four Maca. You still run two. Then again, of course, you want to make sure if you're using the correct uh, crystals here, corrupted. Uh, I use those for a lot of the um, uh, DKS spots, right? Where I'm not getting back attacks, and this is like DKS Forest. Uh, but if you want to get back attacks, of course, you use Darkness. A uh, quick look here at the um, Olens. <clears throat> Olens is a bit special because you get a Shy. So this is actually a very new build for Olens, that's BIS, and you get quite a bit additional stats. So by using a uh, red battlefield at a man side, you get the 25% uh, knockdown and the 5% stun stiffness, which then allows you to use two of these uh, docked uh, patience crystals for getting a total of 25 bonus knockdown and stun stiffness. This means that with shy buffs, you will be capped out. So you don't have to use two of these uh, no stat elementites or um, giant crystals anymore you can run this a quick note about this some classes have a higher base resist for example what i'm playing is awakened witch awakened witch has 30 percent stun stiffness base resistance so for my specific build i can actually take out one of these crystals and put in an, uh, another crystal in there. For example, I would probably be better off running, instead of this, I could run um, four Maccas and all that, right? You can make some changes here if you need to. Uh, but this is the general build, um, which is one of the few exceptions where you can play around with one of these crystals a bit if you want to. But this is the new one, uh, double uh, Maccas with precisions, uh, back attacks, for Olens, it's definitely the best, especially Olens 2 here. You should go with that because it's all about killing the big golem. Um, and then, yeah, a red battlefield at a man uh, Of course, I'll link uh, these builds in the description down below on a Gamoth planner. And of course, make sure you adjust your resistances to the place you're grinding. So if you're doing Crypt, 
You want to get like a stun stiffness, etc, etc. And especially with the potential of more to get two spots coming out, this might be very relevant. So hopefully you find it useful. Let me know in the comments down below or at twitch.me slash my subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.